right now, head on collision. One driver in custody, the other a sheriff's deputy. I'm a cop, but I want people to let me know how they want to be policed. And a conversation with the community on how Madison policing should move forward. Here it comes. More rain is moving our way and the potential to put more snow on the ground. I have the latest for forecast just minutes away. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchine. Thanks for joining us. New this morning out of Rock County, a 38-year-old man in custody after a head-on collision with a Rock County deputy. Jesse Seals facing charges this morning after that crash on Highway 26 near McCormick Drive in Janesville. The deputy noticed Seals' odd driving behavior and tried to stop him. After turning on his emergency lights to warn others of the danger, Seals crashed into the deputy's vehicle. That deputy was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. Back in Dane County, the Madison Police Department asking the community to join the conversation about what long-term policing should look like going forward. The department has decided to create a long-term strategic plan focused on how the next five to seven years of policing in Madison looks. Captain Matt Ty says this isn't just an internal review. Instead, it involves hearing from the people of Madison. It's just critical to have the community involved in those conversations and really leading what, what it is we want out of policing. Well, to have that open and honest dialogue, like I don't want to be the big baddie that just, you know, comes around when things are going wrong. Madison Police, along with a consulting group, will be conducting a virtual meeting for each district within the department. Each meeting, community members will get their chance to share their thoughts on several different topics, like community trust, the role of police, and crime and safety in their own neighborhood. For more information on those meetings, you can head on over to channel3000.com. New information now about Madison's new community alternative response program, known as CARES. In the first six and a half months, it responded to nearly 250 calls. The team is made up of community parents medics and crisis workers. Mayor Sachi Rhodes Conway says the team responded to 246 nonviolent mental health emergency calls since it was formed in early September. Moving forward, the city will look at now ways to expand the program, including the types of calls team members can take. Time. And so I do think it's a win-win um, for our community uh, to, to really beef up this response, uh, the CARES response, um, because I think it's going to save us money um, ultimately, and it's going to be providing a better service for our community. After a limited launch, the program has now been expanded to cover the entire city. Switching gears now, let's check in with Chris Reese. Keeping an eye on your first warm weather, the chances for rain today. Chris? We're going to be warm as well. That's one of the three things to know. Thunderstorms and warm just for a day because we're going to see a quick burst of snow that arrives tonight. This could put a couple inches of snow on the ground and then we'll be chilly through the weekend. Here's weather track. You see the system as we're tracking it overall. That area low pressure to our west a warm front now knocking on the door for us here throughout parts of southern Wisconsin and we have already seen some lightning and thunder overnight and early this morning but what's happening now is we're actually getting in on a little bit of a break. Still some showers out there. It's still going to be damp, but some drier air has moved in just for the time being before we start to see more of that moisture moving in just a little bit later. 43 now in Janesville, so we're starting to see these temperatures warm as our winds become a little bit more southerly. Still 37 for us in Madison right now, but our temperatures will continue to warm up. 1 o'clock this afternoon, we're at 55, but something else happens at 1 o'clock this afternoon. That next round of steadier rain starts to move into the picture. I expect this one to really focus on the eastern half of the state. 58, that's where we'll top out this afternoon and still even where we're not when, uh, within that big, heavy stretch of rain, we're still going to see your spotty showers hanging out. 51 by 730. Here comes more rain now developing over the western and central parts of southern Wisconsin. It's 1130 at night and temperatures are now dropping. Our winds are now out of the north. We'll fall down into the 30s, 36 by 3 o'clock in the morning. Here comes that transition over to some snow. We'll keep those temperatures in the 30s tomorrow with snow coming down at a good clip. 
for a couple of hours. And so this will lead to a bit of snow on the ground. Notice these temperatures that were hovering just around the freezing point, though. This should work in the favor of roadways, but even still, if it comes down hard enough, you can get some slush to accumulate on those roadways. In fact, I'm expecting overall about an inch or two of some slush, maybe even a little bit more as you work your way farther to the north and west before all is said and done. Here's the bottom line that I want to leave you with. Everyone talks about the weather and every year we talk about the fact that it's snowing in March and April. That's the, th that's the norm. That happens every year around here. But the deal is we have multiple rounds of heavier rain arriving the next one near noon. Then we'll see a one to three quick burst of snow. One to three inches there. There's no real need to shovel it at all. Mother Nature is going to do most of that. And while I know it's dreary, this is much needed. We are in a severe drought and I want to give you an opportunity to track this with us. We've got a lot coming our way as we go through the next 24 hours. If you open up your phone camera and point it at the screen, then it'll take you to where you can download the first worn weather app. We keep that updated all day. Multiple videos, multiple updates all day long and an interactive radar that you can track this moving on in with us. We can do it together. It's a group effort. 44 by Friday with the return of some sunshine, but by Friday night, we'll see another round of snow, then a rain snow mix on Saturday. More rain chances move in next week. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. The USA Paralympic sled hockey team brought home the gold once again this year. This morning, we're learning more about an adult and youth sled hockey team right here in Madison. The Wisconsin Sting and the Wisconsin Skeeters are sled hockey teams for people with physical disabilities or mobile disorders. Joining me this morning is Joe, who's been playing with the Sting for 10 years. Joe, why don't you go and tell me how you got involved? I mean, that's a long time to be playing with the team. Yeah, uh, I got involved actually through an event uh, quite like the one we're holding on Sunday. Uh, I was in high school, back where I'm from, about two hours north of here. Uh, we just came out, tried to sled. Uh, I come from a hockey family, so I kind of already had the bug uh, and just went from there. And what has been the most rewarding part of all this for you? Uh, it's a great question. I, I would say the biggest thing is uh, the sense of community you get. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have a lot of that if you have a physical disability, getting in a, a place where you can be with people uh, that are like you, have similar experiences, and uh, play a sport, that's always a good thing. And for some people who maybe don't know what sled hockey is, why don't you kind of explain that sport to me? Yeah, it's uh, remarkably similar to stand-up hockey. You're just seated. Uh, you use your arms to skate, uh, pass the puck, shoot. Uh, check all that stuff. It's all physical. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, it's really just stand up hockey sitting down. What is something you think people may not know about it? I think a big thing is that it, it's uh, it is a physical game. Uh, that stuff doesn't leave when you're in a sport for people with disabilities. Uh, it is full contact, uh, and that makes it fun. All right, Joe, thank you so much. If you'd like to try out the sport, the teams are hosting the second tri-sled hockey event at Madison Ice Arena this weekend. The event is free to all that attend, taking place Sunday, April 3rd from 4 to 5 p.m. For details on location, head to our website at channel3000.com. Coming up still, Chris and Leah will be back with an emergency landing at Milwaukee's Mitchell Airport yesterday. They'll have what happened to the plane coming up in a few minutes. And we're in the 608 this morning at the Stoughton Opera House giving you a tour and a look at some of the changes over the last couple of years. Ashley's Spring Semi-Annual Sale is happening now. For a limited time, get a Serta Perfect Sleeper for less than $14 per month, plus $200 in free furniture. Doorbuster mattress discounts up to 65% off and five-day delivery on all in-stock mattresses. Right now and only at Ashley. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. I think white teeth are absolute sexy magnets. I love it. The power swabs have really made a huge difference on the entire quality and color of my teeth and I'm very, very happy with them. <laughs> I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth for hot drinks, ice cream, anything hot or cold. Really, really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> It is so fast, it is effective. The great thing about power swabs is that it's just easy to use. To me, it's the best solution for teeth whitening on the market.
Introducing Power Swabs, the five minute stain removing and whitening treatment. Apply the step one stain removing cleanser. Use the swab to get in between teeth, around edges, as the blue cleansing detergent is thin enough to get into pores to release stains. Open swab two. Duplicate the process. Instantly see up to a full two shade difference. That's powerful. Forget gooey trays. Save a fortune on electronics. Forget slippery strips. Imagine your teeth up to six shades whiter in a week. Call or visit us online now and we'll send you the complete power swab system. Seven cleansing swabs. Seven power swab foaming whitening swabs. Thanks for celebrating hundreds of thousands of satisfied smiles. We're offering them to you right now for this incredible discount. We'll pay your shipping and handling. If you're not fully satisfied, even after day one, return it for your money back. Laugh more, smile more, enjoy life more. Call right now or go online now and we've been authorized for a limited time to include our on-the-go Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick. It's a 1995 value, free. With this complete offer, you are saving over 40%. Call or go online now. Brighten your smile and your life now. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Ashley Spring Semi Annual Sale is happening now. Spruce up this season with store wide furniture savings. For a limited time, discounts up to 54% off. Plus, get an additional 10% off and pay no interest for 36 months. It's the Spring Semi Annual Sale only at Ashley. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast, News 3 Now This Morning. Welcome back from the 608, learning more about the history of. The Stoughton Opera House. Josh Spreider is live there with an inside look this morning. Hey, Josh. Josh, your mic on. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. Mic check, mic check, mic check. I can hear you now, Leah. <laughs> My mic is working. I guess someone's doing their job right. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're here at the Stoughton Opera House. We're in the 608 having a good time here on a Wednesday morning. And we are getting an inside look at some of the changes that have happened over the last couple of years. Some good changes here. I want to bring in Bill Pullman this morning. Bar manager, here we are, literally a piano bar. You exactly. can see the pianos underneath the bar. This is your space right here. It is, it is, and we're so happy to have it now that we can actually sell concessions here uh, for the first time starting last fall. Uh, happy to have crowds back here in the in the Opera House. So where we're standing, this used to be municipal offices. Yep. You know, what went into changing this back into really a community space? Uh, we have an association, the uh, Stoughton Opera House Friends Association that wrote grants and raised a lot of money for this to be able to happen. And uh, lots of the improvements with uh, just the decor and with the streaming. And there are a couple of other rooms here alongside. I mean, you guys put a lot of work into this over the last couple of years. You know, what were some of the ideas that went into making the space what it is? Uh, well, definitely that we wanted to have concessions and uh, we wanted a comfortable space for people to be able to come down out of the theater during COVID if you weren't comfortable being around people that you could actually still watch the show while it's streaming and come down here and uh, be comfortable and relaxed and still enjoy the show. You know, this has been a community staple for Stoughton for over 120 years. 1901 is when this building opened up. Exactly, exactly. And uh, we're just happy to have people back again. And ironically, uh, in the early 1900s during the swine flu, uh, they actually had to close down production of like their vaudeville shows and things that were going on then uh, for pretty much the same reason that we had to over COVID. So where we're standing right now, this used to be the mayor's office, right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, it's a great improvement in my mind. Uh, now we have a stage built here uh, with a sound system. We're getting lighting soon. And uh, soon we'll have uh, local musicians to, that will be performing uh, prior to the shows. So you've had some events already uh, happening. You've got a lot on the schedule coming up here in the near future too. Yes, yes. We have uh, quite a few new bands uh, just 
recently booked that include like Amy Mann, Suzanne Vega, Robin Hitchcock, things like that, that there's still tickets available and we'd love to see you out for a show. So if people are interested in learn more, learning more, what do they need to know, Bill? Uh, well, I think they should check out our website uh, for Stoughton Opera House on Facebook um, and uh, just check out dates and bookings and if you just want to stream instead of actually being here, uh, you can actually buy tickets for that also. Plenty of options for folks, right? Exactly, exactly. Bill, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Of course, I've got links up on channel3000.com in our In the 608 tab if you'd like to learn more as well. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to take you upstairs to the main stage, guys, and give you a little inside look at that, too. Boy, Josh, they've done an outstanding job of freshening that space up while preserving the history and the character that that building is just oozing with. Isn't that super neat? I mean, even if you uh, take a look up at the ceiling, there are just a lot of really wow, unique details that make this place, you know, stick out. And I think that's the beauty of these, you know, small towns like Stoughton and other communities across the 608 where you're trying to preserve a lot of that history. That's what makes living here so unique, right? And we're happy to be able to highlight that. I know you you're a it. sucker for those old buildings. Just oh, gorgeous. I am. Just gorgeous. I am a sucker for that character. It looks wonderful. And I think it used to be the mayor's office. <laughs> that is pretty neat. Very cool neat. Stuff. Josh Thanks, Ryder, Josh. thank you. All Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. In Milwaukee this morning, a Southwest flight making an emergency landing. Flight 1859 headed for Baltimore was in the air for about 24 minutes when the pilot reported a problem with one of the engines. A passenger says she heard two loud pops near the right Thanks. wing. Right, that would scare any passenger. The Boeing 737 returning to Mitchell International Airport and landing without a problem. My goodness. Oh, good ending there. Well, it could have been a tragedy. Right. Quarter after six now, Chris Reese tracking those uh, rain and thunderstorms. Uh, they're pretty much moved on. Are we going to see anything else this morning, Chris? Yeah, we're going to see a lot more as we go throughout today, but we had our first round overnight. That round has moved out. Then spotty showers are going to take hold before our next round starts to move in in just a little bit. Most of the rain this morning has been over northeastern parts of the viewing area, but now that's all moved closer towards Green Bay at this point. Lots of cold and snow developing back to our north and west. That all starts to move in later on tonight. We still have some warming and we still have some showers to go in the meantime. 37 right now. We'll see lingering showers again off and on all day. 51 by the time we get you towards lunch. We'll likely top out at 58 this afternoon. Dinner time, we're still going to be hanging out into the 50s. The temperature doesn't truly begin to drop until we get you towards the overnight time frame. That being said, let's look at some of the roadways right now. All a little damp out there. This is the belt line at Stoughton Road right now. You see traffic is moving, but you also see the glare from some of the water on the roadways. Overall, I'm going to give you the yellow light all day long just to use some caution because you'll see some periods where the rain comes down pretty hard, and then you'll see some periods like right now where it's not really raining, but of course it is damp out there as well. You look at the traffic maps overall. We do see green, but I also do have an accident. This is going to be on the belt line right at highway 14 over in Middleton that accident uh, creating some minor delays you see a little bit of yellow nearby but no major delays as of now we also have a stalled out vehicle on I-3990 this is just north of that highway 12 interchange that's not causing any delays at the moment Rock County you are all smooth this morning the rest of southern Wisconsin smooth as well all right Chris Reese we appreciate it thank you more new developments from the NFL this week one that's become a hot topic over the years. Owners approving a proposal to change its overtime rules for the postseason. Both teams will now be guaranteed a possession in overtime in the playoffs. If the score remains tied after each team has had a possession, then it will turn to sudden death. A wild finish for the Bucks game last night in Philadelphia. The Bucks were on the road taking on the Sixers, who they share third place with in the Eastern Conference, had an end to the last night's uh, matchup. It was an epic battle, Giannis against another one of the league's best, Joel Embiid. Quite an eye for the Bucks superstar, alley-oop dunk right there from Drew Holiday that puts the Bucks up four late. And then it comes down to this, James Harden can win it with a three there. It's off the mark. And then Giannis coming up with a clutch block. Take another look at this, right against the backboard there. Oh, the Greek freak, 40 points last night, 14 rebounds. Milwaukee goes on to win against Philadelphia and takes sole possession now of second place in the East, 118 
to 112, 116 the final. House hunting is wallet crushing these days. Home prices have been on the rise for years now and it doesn't look like things are going to change anytime soon. The latest numbers from the U.S. National Home Price Index show prices rose more than 19% in January from the year before. That's the fourth largest year-over-year -year jump in the 35 years since the index came out. Foo Fighters saying that they are canceling the rest of their tour after the unexpected death of their drummer Taylor Hawkins. Hawkins' death was announced Friday, hours before the band was set to perform in Bogota, Colombia. The Foo Fighters say that they are disappointed they can't continue the tour, but they need this time to grieve and heal. Hawkins was the Foo Fighter drummer for 25 years. He died at 50 years old. Legendary singer Elton John announcing 11 new U.S. performances on his Goodbye Yellow Brick Road tour. Uh, there are locations like San Diego and Tacoma, Washington. The 75-year-old Grammy winner will wrap up the U.S. leg of his tour at Dodger Stadium in L.A. That marks 2,000 total concerts in the States over his career. The Rocket Man set to perform in Milwaukee this weekend, by the way, at Fiserv Forum. A new re release trailer for Top Gun Maverick is out, and it reveals a bit more about the role that Val Kilmer is set to reprise in the film. It shows John Hamm's character telling Maverick that he's been called back to teach at Iceman's command. The original 1986 film ended with the frenemies ribbing each other about who could be each other's wingman. The trailer also shows another callback to the first film with the introduction of Goose's son. Top Gun Maverick is slated to hit the big screen May 27th. Up next, the valuable lessons students are learning with Legos. And ahead in our next half hour, Wisconsin at the top of a list it doesn't want to be on at all. This portion of News 3 Now is brought to you by Shopco Optical. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video that the viewers can watch while you and I talk, so they can actually see how this works. And you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home. I had the timer on and we were screaming. Four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me. They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great, looks even better. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing or just when you wanna like get rid of the bags? And yeah. you would I mean, morning it, routine. it absolutely could be a daily thing, but the way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, use a small amount because it's so powerful, apply it underneath your eyes, fine line wrinkles, forehead lines. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. At Wheatman Lawn Care, we believe that a lush, beautiful lawn should be enjoyed by the whole family. That's why we offer a kid and pet friendly program to create a healthier, greener, weed free lawn that your whole family can enjoy. Our program includes effective applications of targeted weed control and slow release golf course quality fertilizer to achieve real results. Call or click today for your free quote or sign up now and see the Weed Man difference. Doesn't your family deserve a Weed Man lawn? <laughs> Cobison Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done.
Oh, we have a lovely morning that Linda has shared with us. Check out the colors here over the open water. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Picturesque. Ooh. Very nice. I want to thank Linda Watson for sharing her morning with us. She used the hashtag MyNews3Morning when she posted on social media so we could find it. Do the same and your pictures could wind up on the air. Yeah, hoping for more open water photos now that it's getting a bit warmer. I can't wait for everything to start greening up around here. I know. You know what I mean? I know. It's wait for so me. Nice. June. It, it, it's June. always May or June, yeah. to be honest, yeah. by the time it happens. Yeah, but yeah. It All right, 624 now. In Wichita, Kansas, one high school is using Legos to teach students about urban planning. As a lover of Legos, I love this story. So it's part of the school's urban planning simulation. Each student is re responsible for a role on a development team. The goal is to show the students how to build city blocks, refurbish old buildings, and to bring a community to life, all through the use of Legos. You're a big Legos fan. Yeah. But you got into weather, which is really interesting. I feel like I wonder if Zach was really into Legos when he was a kid because he became an engineer. Yeah, you know, that's a good question though because a lot of my family thought I would do engineering really? or city planning because my parents gave me the garage when I was a kid and I built an entire city and I would buy like road parts. I would go to a lot of hobby stores and actually build cities and then my uncle wanted to be an architect he never became one but he knew a lot about it so we'd sit down we'd design the buildings and then we'd go get the stuff and cool. then I'd build these buildings um, in the garage then I'd even go the extra mile and take Christmas lights and wire them through so that I could light up the city at night oh my goodness. There you go. um, and so even at night and I'd had airports I'd have neighborhoods I'd have downtowns and I'd build the highways to go I, I was pretty intense with all wow. of this yet I never played SimCity Oh. Well, on the oh. computer. That's a More game a that I never guy. played. Uh, but yeah, so city planning, it's something I've always, I've been interested. Now yeah, you have a lot, cool. of, a lot of injuries from the Legos over the years, <laughs> stepping on them. Oh, I can't tell you how many Legos I've stepped on. Holy cow. It's a rite of passage as a father. I mean, as many, you know, as many times as I tell the kids, make sure you get each one. <laughs> Let's get, make sure the whole floor is clean from all those Legos. Never fails, I step on one. Maybe some city planners in your household, future ones. Yeah, I love Legos because you can express your imagination and there's your creativity. Uh, they also built fine motor skills as a little kid. Yeah, there you and, go. Uh, yeah, every once in a while you step on one. It's kind of the cost of admission, I guess. It really is. There you go. <laughs> All right, Chris Reese, 20 seconds left. Bus stop forecast. Here's what's going on. If you are not on spring break this week, it is raining. We're going to see that rain all day long, but it's going to feel better at drop-off time. Temperatures in the 50s. All right. Make sure you get that umbrella in handy today, folks. We'll be back with more news right after this. Now, First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Irresistibly smooth chocolate to put the world on pause. Lindor. Made to melt you by the Lint Master Chocolatier. Finding the Honda you really want just got easier. With a longer limited warranty, so long. And complimentary oil changes within the first year. You've never been more at peace than with Honda Certified Pre-Owned. can Sono Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Don't wait a moment longer to reveal the new you. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. Now is the time to turn your
your dream into a reality with design and buy projects at Menards. Breeze through your project planning with ease using interactive tools that factor in the details that matter and get 11% off everything. If you're dreaming of a kitchen with an island for entertaining, a deck to grill up the perfect hot dog, or a post frame building large enough to protect your prized possessions, what are you waiting for? Get a free estimate with instant pricing and buy your project today with design and buy at Menards. Thank you for taking care of Lorenzo. For a noticeably smooth shave, Dollar Shave Club. I just want our kids to be kids again. Play sports, go to school, without having to worry all the time. So when we learned the COVID-19 vaccine is safe for kids age five and up. We talked to their doctor and she helped our family decide to get our sons vaccinated right away. And to keep taking safety steps in public too. Help your kids stay safe and in school. Find a free COVID-19 vaccine for kids near you at dhs.wi.gov slash COVID-19 slash parents. Another outdoor eating option for your family this spring and summer. City Council's decision to make streetery permanent. One round of rain is through, many more rounds of rain to come. We have the latest first warrant forecast minutes away. Everybody knows somebody, even if they don't know they know them. The state's council on alcohol abuse, tackling alcoholism in Wisconsin. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynchine. Thanks for joining us. Raising the cost of booze, having fewer places to drink. And getting local governments who hand out liquor licenses in Wisconsin to monitor where excessive drinking happens most. Those are just a few of the 60-odd new recommendations to try and get Wisconsinites to drink less. The more effective method is to change the culture around our alcohol use and bring us back into a more normal level. Alcohol is ingrained in everything we do, even baby showers, <laughs> you know, kids parties. That right there was Jenny Hallett. Her daughter Brittany drank herself to death back in 2014. And that case isn't unnecessarily uncommon. U.S. Health Rankings puts Wisconsin at number one in the country for excessive drinking, whether binge drinking, underage, or drinking while pregnant. Early data from last year shows excess drinking in the state continues to rise. During the pandemic, alcohol deaths also went up. For more information to track Wisconsin's drinking problem by the numbers, download our Channel 3000 app. We have the full story, including all 61 recommendations posted right now. You can also find the information at channel3000.com. To our other top story this morning, thunder waking you up overnight, and it's going to continue today. Chris Reese has all the timing for you this morning. Hi, Chris. Yeah, grab the umbrella headed out the door. Keep the jacket at least nearby. We're in the 30s now, but our temperatures are going to be really on the roller coaster ride as we go throughout today. No need for the sunglasses. We've got more rounds of rain coming through, and this is a system impacting multiple different parts of the country, whether that's winter, whether that's rain, or whether that's severe weather, farther to the south. For us, it has been rain and a little bit of thunder overnight. Now the steadiest of the rain from overnight closer towards Green Bay and Door County. Still, we're going to be tracking some additional showers. We've got some light showers moving through parts of southern Wisconsin right now. Most of this south of Madison, but also south of us is round number two. It's going to be moving towards the north and east, and that likely arrives closer towards lunchtime. That round is going to be heaviest just to our east, but still we're dealing with showers this morning. We're still going to see some showers this afternoon. Thursday morning, it is snow for your commute, and it could come down hard enough that we have some slush on the roadways as we start to move towards tomorrow morning. 37 now, the wind chill at 30, so it is a colder morning, but Janesville at 43. Notice how these winds are now starting to become due out of the south. I expect to see a temperature jump closer to 40 as we get into our next update with the temperatures. That happens right around 655 or so. Still, we're all going to warm things up into the 50s later on this afternoon. This is one o'clock. Here's that second round, by the way, with that heaviest just to the east. Temperatures are into the mid 50s. Still spotty showers throughout the afternoon. We'll top out at 58. Now we're into the evening. The colder air starts to move in 1130. We're at 42. We're dropping to 36 by three o'clock in the morning. Here comes that snow developing on the north and western side. And this is a quick burst of snow that only lasts for a couple of hours as we go into tomorrow morning. But it could be impacting at least the start of your morning 
commute on Thursday. We'll see some lingering snow showers and flurries throughout the day into Thursday night as well. We can put a little snow on the ground, not a ton. I'm not super convinced or impressed of a lot of snow, but still a slushy inch or two. That's where I'm expecting things to line up. Maybe a little bit more as you work your way farther to the north and west, less the closer you get towards the state line. Not a lot, but still it's something that'll melt quickly as well, especially this time of the year. Rainfall amounts overall are still very beneficial. We're talking an inch to an inch and a half of liquid in a very drought stricken area. So this is something that we can celebrate. So again, multiple rounds of heavier rain. The next one near noon, a quick one to three inches of snow, but there's no real need to shovel it. It's going to melt really quickly. It's dreary, but we need this. We are in a drought and Mother Nature is trying to deliver because we have another chance of precipitation Friday night into Saturday. A snow chance Friday night into Saturday, that is. Rain chances late Sunday and additional rain chances throughout much of next week. All right, Chris Reese, we appreciate it. We know you're going to stay busy. You can stay on top of the weather by downloading the Channel 3000 weather app. Just do a search for Channel 3000 weather in your app store. This morning, Madison police are still looking for a man who's believed to have set his home on fire at the city's homeless encampment. Firefighters were called to the Dairy Drive facility yesterday afternoon. They found heavy black smoke coming from the cabin. It's a total loss this morning. Authorities were able to identify the suspect because of security cameras on site, but so far they haven't made an arrest. Records obtained by News 3 Now are shedding some light onto that November firing of a Dane County deputy. This is all centered on an incident that happened at Fesky County Park near Cross Plains. At the time, Sarah Bortz Rodriguez said that she saw a suspicious person while on patrol and fired her weapon after being stabbed. Well, the investigation turned up some inconsistencies in her story. A termination letter says that she had a bad work review, then drove around to calm herself, then took an unknown substance. And when that substance took effect, she discharged her firearm and that the cuts that she suffered were apparently made by her own box cutter. New this morning, Madison City Council unanimously voting to keep the streetery a permanent option for Madison restaurants. The streetery program uh, that was introduced back in 2020, we had about 80 restaurants uh, or food service places that participated. Uh, it was uh, what I, I guess people would consider a, a pretty great success. The program started on an emergency basis, then was extended last year through the spring. Last night's council meeting allows restaurants to continue to seek approval to expand their dining into sidewalks and streets, but it doesn't allow their use after 9 p.m. Town of Madison police say 70 shell casings were found after a reported shots fired incident over the weekend. It happened on Perry Street early Saturday morning just south of the Beltline near Park Street. According to a news release, several vehicles reportedly sped away from the scene. Deputies also found damage to three nearby vehicles. No injuries were reported. A new report from CBS and the Washington Post shows some of the phone calls made during the January 6th siege on the Capitol are unaccounted for. The records prove provided to the news agencies show a gap of more than seven hours in the call logs. The House Committee investigating the attack says this lack of information is making it hard to fully understand what happened that day. Officials say some of those calls might have been made on then-President Trump's personal cell phones, which would explain why they weren't included in White House records. First, I do think he should recuse himself. Uh, the information we know, know right now raises serious questions about how close Justice Thomas and his wife were to the planning and execution of the insurrection. That right there, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calling on Justice Clarence Thomas to recuse himself in any cases related to January 6th. This after that same CBS Washington Post investigation found that the justice's wife, Ginny Thomas, exchanged texts with then White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows about overturning the election. The House Committee investigating the insurrection says there is no decision yet on whether to call Justice Thomas or his wife to testify. To the crisis in Ukraine now, Russia claims to be scaling back its invasion of Ukraine, but bomb sirens could still be heard overnight in Kyiv. Peace talks are set to continue in Turkey between the two countries. Russia also claiming a meeting between Vladimir Putin and Vladimir Zelensky could be on the table once a draft of peace is ready. Top U.S. officials, though, are skeptical. There is what Russia says, and there's what Russia does. We're focused on the latter, and what Russia is doing is the continued brutalization of Ukraine. Yesterday in Istanbul, the Ukrainian delegation agreed to a Russian demand that their country would declare itself neutral 
and abandon any hope of joining NATO. America's worker shortage, a hallmark of the pandemic economy, is far from being fixed. The federal government reports U.S. businesses had 11.3 million job openings to fill in February, slightly more than economists had predicted. Meanwhile, the number of Americans quitting their jobs inched up to 4.4 million in February. That's slightly higher than in the month before, but still the, below the November peak of 4.5 million. Workers at the Starbucks on East Main and Madison are organizing to unionize. The hourly workers filed a petition with the National Labor Relations Board yesterday. They are looking to join the statewide Starbucks Workers United effort with similar unionization efforts taking place in Buffalo, Seattle, and Arizona. Just about 639 on your Wednesday. Let's take a live look outside. Streets a little wet. We're going to see more rounds of rain coming this afternoon. You might hear some rumbles of thunder. Chris Reese continuing to time it out for us. Plus, I've got the best seats in the house here at the Stoughton Opera House as we're getting an inside look in the 608. Stick around. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Thanks. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. The Madison Lighting Spring Sale starts soon, but you can pre-shop now. Take 15% off everyday low prices, every brand, every ceiling fan and home accent. Pre-shop the Spring Sale at Madison Lighting Showroom, Watts Road, Madison. I can't take it anymore. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free? Perfect. I can change, honey. Not you. These drafty old windows. Oh. It's time for a change. Buy one window, get one free from Feldco. Buy one window, get one free ends Thursday. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Inflation has surged to a 40-year high. Democrats declared war on fossil fuels, so gasoline prices are at record levels. President Obama's chief economist says inflation is costing your family $4,000 a year. Why? Because Democrats are printing trillions of dollars to pay for their massive deficit spending. Inflation is the Democrats' tax on the middle class. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message because I'm concerned about rising prices just like you. It's the most wonderful time. Get fast relief of your worst allergy symptoms, including nasal congestion, with powerful Claritin D, so you can breathe better, feel the clarity, and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Claritin D. At Pick and Save, every free pickup order is picked fresh and packed with care, or we'll make it right. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. The USA Paralympic sled hockey team brought home the gold once again this year. But did you know an adult and youth sled hockey team is right here in Madison? The Wisconsin Sting and the Wisconsin Skeeters are sled hockey teams for people with physical disabilities or mobile disorders. Joining me this morning is Luke, who has been playing with the Sting for 10 years. Luke, why don't you go in and tell me a little bit about what sled hockey is. So sled hockey, as you said, is just a sport for anybody that has a mobility disorder or any physical disability. And how it works is you sit in a bucket seat that has two blades, like a normal hockey bl blade, and then you have one stick for each hand that has spikes on the bottom. So you pick the ice to move, just like skiing. And then th the top of the blade has 
like for passing and shooting and stuff. So. And how has sled hockey made an impact on your day-to-day -day life? Um, one of the best things that sled hockey's done for me is, for one, like it's given me like a lot of friends to that like have had similar situations as I have or similar experiences, and it's also helped with um, boosting my self-confidence because I'm able to participate in sports just like everybody else. And what's been your favorite part of playing sled hockey with your team? Uh, probably the best thing would be the um, camaraderie, camaraderie that I have with my, my teammates. So. And if someone was looking to get involved this weekend, I know there's an event going on for people to try it out. Is there anything they need to bring with them or anything they need to have experience with? No, we, we um, try to make sure, make sure everything is free. Like we, like through the support of like donations and stuff, we provide everything that you need. So you can just come with whatever you have. Okay, wonderful, Luke. Thank you so much. And <clears throat> if you think you'd like to go ahead and try out this sport, the teams are hosting the second tri-sled hockey event at Madison Ice Arena this weekend. The event is free to all that attend, as Luke said. It's taking place Saturday, April 3rd, from 4 to 5 p.m. Sunday, excuse me on that. For details on location, head to our website at channel3000.com. Such a neat thanks for highlighting that. We appreciate it. In the 608 this morning, we are getting a behind-the-scenes look at some renovations at the Stoughton Opera House. Josh Breider, live in Stoughton this morning with more. Quite a view, Josh. Yeah, guys, we're on the main stage right now. Just take a look at this. This is on the second level here of the Stoughton Opera House. Just a beautiful space here. Uh, around 450 seats available here and a lot of history in this building. There's been some changes recently. We're going to bring Bill Pullman in this morning. And, you know, you guys are super excited because you guys have been doing some updates on the lower level. But there's so much history in this building that you're trying to kind of preserve some of that character, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, we are working on a fundraiser right now for for the cushioning of the seats. Um, they're pretty uncomfortable original seats from 1901. And uh, they have the original hat rack uh, on the bottom of the seat. Um, and all this will be preserved. Um, right now the donations, we have uh, two wonderful donors that have donated $40,000, or they will match any donations up to $40,000. So if you want to donate $100, you'll actually be donating $200, for example. So we're very excited about that. We've already raised over 10000 in the first couple weeks. Um, and that lasts through the end of April. That's what's pretty cool though, is like original seating, a lot of the stuff that's in this building is from the early 1900s. Yes, uh, for example, uh, uh, over here, um, we have some graffiti of when uh, graduations used to happen here or uh, musicals or orchestra shows. Uh, people put their uh, own insignias on here uh, just to mark the time and the event. Yeah, you can see 1927, 1932, 1954. That's pretty cool. And, you know, walking from the green room up here, a lot of the artists and performers that have been here have also signed their names on the walls as well. Yep, yep. Uh, it's nice to see some of the names on there and the years and uh, it's just uh, the history just keeps growing. You know over the last couple of years the pandemic obviously forced in the closures of a lot of uh, community buildings like this one but you guys have really taken the time to improve the building for now the performances that are back here. Yes we have. Uh, during COVID we added streaming to our services and you can just uh, watch the show at home um, if you want that's still available you can just buy tickets for streaming um, or it streams down in our lounge also so if you need a break from being in the theater just want to come down and have a drink um, or uh, just get away from the crowd uh, you can watch the show live down in the lounge you know you guys have been a staple in the community for so long how special and unique is this to be right here in downtown Stoughton I think it's amazing it's a gem that so many people don't even realize that are he that is here and uh, so many great Grammy winning artists come here and I think people should come and see a show and you have a lot of events uh, on the table here on the schedule in the near future too yes we do uh, bands such as uh, Suzanne Vega or um, Robin Hitchcock are coming and uh, I think there's still and uh, Amy Mann and so there is uh, tickets still available for those so please come and see a show oh very good Bill we appreciate you having us in and yeah some of those changes already are fantastic I know you're the bar manager you're pretty proud of your space downstairs yes very happy with that new space
Well, thank you so much for the tour. We appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about the Soden Opera House, I've got a link up on channel3000.com. Right now, I definitely recommend checking this place out. I mean, look at this history here at the Soden Opera House, guys. Uh, we love to see this uniqueness right here in the 608. It's an absolutely gorgeous building. I'm a little surprised it didn't inspire you to, you know, break out your own opera voice there, Oh, come Josh. on, Josh. What do you got Please. for us? <laughs> you know... My producer, Devin, a little earlier was in my ear. He's like, I expected some opera this morning. And I'm like, I'm not quite there. Maybe I've got to work on that. We'll have to come back for another feature here at the Stoughton Opera House. We'll see. Okay, Josh Breider <laughs> in Stoughton this morning. Thanks a lot, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. Well, we know if Chris Reese was there, he would be belting out some tunes. Right, oh, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Always singing, every day. That's what I love to Got do. Got a great voice. Thank you, by the way. We are tracking uh, some uh, war rain chances as we go throughout the day, so I want you to have that umbrella as you head out the door, my friends, because we're expecting to get wet, and there's going to be more rain that moves through later on. We'll see our best chance for rain, really, into the evening and overnight when a lot of that becomes snow, and that's what takes us into Thursday. So nearly washout, but I'm expecting a washout overall tonight. Still some widespread snow on Thursday in the morning before things begin to wind down. Some of the rain we saw overnight already starting to move out of the area, but you zoom out, you see our wintry weather to the north and all this to the west. That's what's going to move in just a little bit later. In fact, you track it on our future track. Here's that round of rain that arrives overnight and into tomorrow, and you see that transition over to some snow. That being said, a little break in the action right now. Still a couple of raindrops on the camera. Still a little damp out there. We're at 38. We'll continue to warm up into the 50s. Okay, Chris Reese, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. 650 coming up in the morning sprint. New details on last night's head-on crash in Rock County. Uh, first, though, we want to say happy birthday to all the kiddos turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with News 3 Now this morning. News 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. At Star and Bank, we think having choices is important, so you can choose the products that are right for your life. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. Does anyone really remember who comes in second? No, they don't. That's why you've got to put it all out there and be relentless. Because to be the best, you have to elevate your game. Hy-Vee took breakfast to a whole new level with new items made fresh to order. So when it comes to the best breakfast around, they know fresh. And here's a simple takeaway. If you think you can find any better, then you don't know Hy-Vee and you don't know Jack. Na, 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 na. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Let's get after it. With new inventory arriving daily, it's time to get after it in a Ford F-150 and a Ford Ranger. Stop by your local Ford dealer today and let us help you custom order your truck your way. Then we'll get after building it. It's Ford Truck Month. Visit your local Ford dealer today. Order your F-150 to lock in 0% financing for 66 months and 500 cash, plus an extra 1,000 retailer order bonus. You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. A phenomenon. An international sensation. But you haven't heard them. Why is L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid the number one serum? So effective with our highest concentration of hyaluronic acid. Pure hyaluronic acid attracts water to help visibly re-pump lines and restore volume. Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Serum from L'Oreal Paris. Risky's World looks delicious. With real shrimp, garden veggies, tasty gravy. New Friskies glazed and infused. It's glazed and amazing. Feed their fantasy. Friskies. Look, there's over a hundred more varieties at friskies.com. He's turned on working families again. Ron Johnson said no to bringing new jobs to Wisconsin. 
Now he's supporting the Republican plan that phases out Social Security and Medicare and increases taxes on middle-class families. Time for Democrat Alex Lazary. Lazary says let's get more money into working people's pockets and cut their taxes. No wonder so many unions say Alex Lazary is the strongest Democrat to beat Ron Johnson. I'm Alex Lazary and I approve this message. Today's the day to go farther with a partner that provides you innovative solutions for your own personal financial future. Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. A local family's Ukrainian rescue mission, Thursday at 10. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. A wrong-way driver and a Rock County deputy are okay after a head-on collision overnight. The deputy saw the driver going north in the southbound lanes of Highway 26. The officer tried to turn on their lights to warn oncoming traffic, but the driver then collided head-on with the deputy's car. More on the crash and who was arrested is all up on Channel3000.com. Summerfest right around the corner, and they just released the full lineup for this year. Jason Aldean will headline day one. Justin Bieber, day two. The first weekend is going to wrap up with a performance from Lil Wayne, Wiz Khalifa, and the Wu-Tang Clan. Backstreet Boys, Machine Gun Kelly, and Thomas Rhett will perform along with Steve Miller Band, Boys to Men, and Death Cab for Cutie. Following the parade tragedy in Waukesha, lawmakers are trying to amend the state constitution to allow judges to consider past crimes when setting bail. Ex-incarcerated folks organized a legislative day of action against the change. They say they're concerned some of the language included in the resolution is poorly defined. Richland Center Police identifying the man whose body was found along a walking path this week. He's been identified as 53-year-old Peter Shep, who was from Richland Center. No foul play is suspected. An autopsy is being conducted to determine the cause. The United Nations says more than 4 million refugees have now fled Ukraine since Russia launched its invasion more than a month ago. Right now, delegations from both countries countries are meeting in Turkey to negotiate a peace treaty. Ukraine says it's willing to declare neutrality in exchange for security guarantees. Officials in Boscobel say corrected ballots are on their way to voters after a misprint. In a Facebook post, District Administrator Misty Molsloff said that District 2 Alderperson Stephanie Brown's name was mistakenly printed on the District 3 race and District 3 Alderperson Chrissy Whitaker Schneider's name was printed on the District 2 race. Molzoff confirmed with News Tree now that 32 voters in the district received the misprinted ballots and were contacted and mailed the correct ones. President Joe Biden signing a new law making lynching a federal crime. The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act is named after a 14-year-old black boy who was murdered by a group of white men in Mississippi for allegedly whistling at a white woman back in 1955. The bill passed the Senate unanimously after almost doing so in the House. The U.S. Coast Guard now helping free a container ship that's been stranded in the Chesapeake Bay for more than two weeks. Crews made their initial attempt to refloat the Ever Forward yesterday after more than a week of dredging, but it didn't budge. The ship ran aground north of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge March 13th. Officials have said there were no reports of injuries, damage, or pollution. We do still have a couple of showers out there that we are watching this morning. We're going to see more rain filter in later on today. So enjoy this little reprieve that we have for now before things get active again. We'll warm things up to 58 this afternoon. Temperatures are going to drop though later on tonight. We're planning out the day. Here's 11 o'clock. We see more of these showers coming in and then overnight tonight we go from the rain to the snow and that snow is going to stick around with us into tomorrow morning. Some of that accumulates as well before we start to see some of that break up as we start to move towards the later part of the morning. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us this morning, folks. We'll see you back here tomorrow.